Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we enacted our plan in order to try to save Nahida and stop the Fatui from what they're and the, the academia from what they're doing and everything. And so the next part of the plan is we need to head to Port Ormos because we need to find the doctor from the Fatui Harbingers in order to basically stop him because he was trying to take um 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 um. um Oh, crap, I just drew a blank on her name. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I keep wanting to say Dunyar Zod, but no, that's not the right girl. That That's the one from the the other part of the story. Um, Hapasia, that's her name. Yeah, he, he wanted to take her and ask Tainari to let him take her and everything, but said no. And so we're, we're basically going after him and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much where we left off. So we need to head over to Port Ormos. So yeah, remember to like the video if you like and subscribe if you need some more. Without further ado, let's just get moving. Okay. Um, there's It says there's a, whatchamacallit, a... Uh, a Dendroculus right around here. Is it down below us or up above us? I hate how slow the camera moves sometimes. It's kind of annoying. It's like sometimes the camera moves really quick and then sometimes it moves really slow. There it is. Dendroculus. Mine. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark that. Okay, and we're just gonna fast travel to Port Ormos. Here we go. Okay, should be right down there. Oops, squeeze through here. Smack my head, and down we go. Oh, interesting. That's those are Fatui guys. Interesting. Look! Fatui soldiers! Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place. Shh, don't draw their attention. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now, Great, we gotta be sneaky. I hate this. Farewell ceremony for a Snesh Nyan Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in her homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. How does this not look suspicious, dude? <laughs> I'm walking down the middle of the street here. I'm okay with it because it's like I'm not very good at sneaky stuff, but this is kind of ridiculous. Oh, there's the doctor. I see him. He's on the boat. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer That's and find a place to hide so we can observe him. There we go. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. So the doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru, but could it really be that simple? Are we sure he's not planning something? <gasps> uh -oh. What's the matter? Is he waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean, there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago. But now, they vanished. <sighs> so this was a trap. But there's nobody around us. Wait, don't tell me that... Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what? I don't know what's going on. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party DI. Huh? What do you mean? I just remembered. Hapasia once connected her consciousness to the Balladeer. I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh no! 
Are you saying they're going to kill her? Let's go. Well, that got bad real fast. Okay, so let's head back. I'm sure things are crazy over here, right? Pardis D.I. is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardis D.I. for research purposes. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Pardis D.I. now, I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your Harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Pardis D.I. as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a Forest Watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. Oh dear, right in the middle of the battle. These Fatui have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. No, my soul. Everyone hold hands. Refresh that. Wish, wish, wish. Quietly now. I must collect myself. A bond is strong. Okay, he's gonna die any second. Minute to memory. There's no use resisting. Give us Hapasia. Keep dreaming. That was funny. Let me leave you Stand with me. Oh come on, she's so close. Fine, we'll just go all out here. Okay, I won't move. The doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now. Oh, perfect. Can you catch me? Really? Come on, there we go. Other side. Really? These little funky are gonna come and join in? That's just annoying. I can't see what's going on. There's too many colors flashing. There we go. Uh, we're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hapasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it. <sighs> Hapasia's still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? Phew, she's just sleeping. Well, how is she? Everything's fine. She's sound asleep. Oh, that's good. So, you think this is over? That voice. Balladeer. What? The Balladeer is here? <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. But, uh, where is he? 
Paimon can't see him, so is he a spirit? A ghost? Wait, is it because I made physical contact with Apatius, the Belladeer, and her consciousness? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Parties DI and made contact with Hapasia. What did you do to Hapasia? I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Hey, Traveler! What are you doing? Paimon, please stay quiet for now. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? The Academia or acted even faster than we thought. Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is it? You're acting more friendly than usual, or I'm a state or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. But are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? The Academia plans to infuse your consciousness with divine knowledge capsules. This is extremely risky. Even if the Academia's theories are correct and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You will become the new Greater Lord Rukadavada for the Academia. Even if it means losing yourself, would you still want to become a god? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? You wouldn't understand. I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking, and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having, so here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. If that's truly what you believe, why did you keep your connection with Apasia? Surely, with the power you've come to possess, you can cut her off with just a thought. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. Is that so? You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. 
If you truly cherish your follower, you should protect her from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? It seems that the doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little suspicious? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift, just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. That look on your face, what are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Yeah! Paimon used thunder! Thunder? Could it be the Balladeer? That person Paimon couldn't see was the Balladeer? Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. I didn't expect that either. He's become milder, but somehow more, even more deranged. It can't be. Is the Balladeer using the Gnosis to change the weather? That means anyone outside is in danger! Let's go! Tainari and Dia still must be fighting! Well, this just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Okay, that was loud. Oh, come on, seriously, I'm trying to just go out the door. Thank you. Okay, that was close. Guys, we really need to get inside. Tainari and Dia are over there. Hey, what happened to you? He's hurt. I'm fine. <laughs> Ow. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Your wound. Uh, I'm really sorry. Why are you sorry? I might have triggered the thunder and lightning. <sighs> it's alright. I'm sure you also never expected this to happen. Don't blame yourself. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia alright? She's okay for now, but I want to tell you something. Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case, let's go to Hapasia's place and talk about things there. Really, you're gonna make me walk back up there? Okay. We whoosh. In we go. Let's talk. Uh, thank goodness she's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Uh, the wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Uh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. They always think they can push through the pain. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he sat down. Uh, let me rest for a bit. Uh, sorry, traveler. Now you may start. So that's what you were talking to the Balladeer about? Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking. The Academia's God creation plan. How ridiculous. That sounds 
uh, ambitious, I guess? Anyway, this is all way beyond me. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party Sti. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to, and left Sumeru in a hurry. Yeah, and I also have a theory. I think the Balladeer is the reason why the doctor is targeting Hepatia. Her consciousness connected to the Balladeer, and she has seen his past. Hmm, maybe the Fatuli want to cover up some secret of the Balladeer. Is that why they tried to seize Hepatia? You said the Balladeer claimed that Hepatia has seen his past. So, what could be there? For now, I'm still not really sure. Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the Doctor's actions. He thinks the Doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the Doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the Doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The Doctor is out of the picture now. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm also happy for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yes, please do get some rest. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. Awesome. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here, and in the next one, we'll meet up with the rest of the group and continue on with the next phase of the plan. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!